Time Zombie! If you are here right now, hi. Time Zombie, I'm a little late. You weren't early, I'm late. The, st the streamer is late. I guess I should technically be, make be making the schedule. But, listen. I got this new thing called a ring light, right? And it took me forever, actually forever, to balance it. Not to balance the lighting. Look, I'm messing with the lighting. The, the lighting's not the best right now because I haven't messed with it. But, I, it's literally balanced on like <laughs> a rubber band right now. If I touch it, it'll fall over. So that is my, look, look I blocked the light. Oh. That is my situation right now. So I could have it higher up. <laughs> what kind of jerk would delay the stream? Dude, <laughs> thank you so much for the ring light. Uh, it's uh, it's literally amazing. And my sister, she like, she does TikTok. She's a TikTok person. And so we're sharing the ring light now. She's using it for her TikToks on the weekends. So it, it works out great. It works out great. I just need to mess with the lighting a little bit. Because there's a lot of options on it. It's actually really cool. Watch. I have this little remote. Ah! Damn it! No! <laughs> no! Stay. 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 Ah, uh, kind of, kind of what I'm wanting. Now it just needs to tilt up more. Then turn it, turn it. And we're back. <laughs> anyway, I have this little remote. I lost it. <laughs> I found it. All right, and it, I'm just gonna be very careful with it. If you, if you press, bam. Is this a good lighting setting? Can you, is this a good lighting setting? Which lighting is best? Time Zombie, you're gonna help me test. Yeah, no, the remote, <laughs> the remote, uh, it, it's a cord. So it's connected to it. So whenever I picked up the remote to show you, it pulled everything off the rubber band. All right, which lighting is better? One, two, or three? This one's up to you, because I actually can't really tell. And then I can up the brightness Oh! <laughs> Natural light in the background. There's nothing I can do about that, sadly. I can turn off. You look super pale. Does that help at all? I can't really... I can't really take away the light, the other light in the background. But I can do this. How do I look? You need a color correction filter? Okay. I'll have to do all that after stream. What's up, Zondro? Guess my work day is done at 2.30. Zondro! <laughs> I appreciate it, but do your work, man. I'll feel bad. I'm gonna get an email from your employer being like, hey, it's all your fault. Do the okay, I think the lighting is starting to look better now. We got the warm lighting. We got the, the blue lighting, which looks terrible. And then we got the bright light. This is the one that like the photographers use. You think I actually look like I do in my streams? No, I'm covered in makeup. Holy crap. Go back to warm. Okay. I use, uh, fun fact. Dude, warm looks kind of weird. It's all digital. No, warm looks all weird. I look... Oh, I look good. <laughs> I'll keep it at this brightness. What's up, streams? Today, we're playing some video games. 
and we're gonna do our best to win this Shogi Nuzlocke. Woo! Oh, this is a good... I should've just started with this camera. But yeah, I'll have to do all the, the lighting stuff. I was a little late to my brother's apartment today, so I didn't have time to do any of that. But it's okay. Because I just did it all right now. <laughs> uh, thank you, Zandro and Time Zombie for being here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna win the Nuzlocke today. I watched my VOD last night. And I realized I played pretty good when I don't talk and when I don't have music on. And whenever I like get real focused, I play alright. And that's what we're gonna do today. Dude, my lighting, it might be too bright. Hold on. I'm gonna fix this lighting. What's up, Daigotsu? I'm gonna fix this lighting real quick without pulling the light down. Ah, uh, that is too bright. What if I do it like that? How do I look? Warm? Hey. Or bright. Hey. <laughs> Which one looks better? I, I feel like an eye doctor. One? Or two? One? One looks better? You actually think one looks better? Okay. I'm gonna believe you on this. Thank you, Synchro. I'm gonna do my best today. I'm gonna turn and tilt my brother's fan downward so it can touch my feet. Hi, Rico. Hard day at work. Now it's time for Shogi. Perfect, I go to. I hope to impress you. <laughs> I'm actually gonna try hard today because I really want this win. So I'm not joking around today. I studied some shogi last night. I watched a shogi anime which hyped me up. So now it's time to win. Let me tilt his fan downward and let's get started. Which anime did I watch? It, uh, Shion no O. I'm not, I'm not finished with it yet, so don't spoil it. It's a mystery, it's a murder mystery shogi anime, and it's fantastic. It's actually like, it might be my favorite shogi anime. I haven't finished it yet. One that ends with, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I don't know. Right now, my favorite shogi anime is Real no Shigoto, because the shogi in it is fantastic, and it's hype. But I think Shion no O, like the murder mystery element, even though it's an older show, I think the murder mystery element combined with like shogi playstyles is just the coolest thing. There are only two shogi anime. No, March comes in like I didn't like March comes in like a lion. I've I've stated my opinions on that anime. I'm not a huge fan of that anime. It's not because it's bad. What? <laughs> March is so good. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. It doesn't focus on Shogi. It focus, it's it's like your lie in April, but instead of music, it's Shogi, and they don't. I don't think they do it justice like they did in your lie in April. I don't know. I need to. I only watched like five episodes, but I was bored. I was bored the entire five episodes. All right, it's time for some Shogi. Uh. I kind of, I don't want to do a practice game today. Try giving it another watch. Okay. Well, yeah, but if I'm watching it for show, you can't say it's your favorite shogi anime if you don't watch it for shogi. Yeah, what Time Zombie said. Naruto is not a shogi anime because it has shogi in it. Like, I don't know. March Comes in Like a Lion isn't a shogi anime to me. All right, it is time. I, I kind of just want to get into it, but I don't want to rush. Like I want to get into it and get started to get wins, but I don't want to. I don't want to not get wins. If that makes any sense. So I'm gonna wait for a game. Um, hold on. There's someone waiting. No. Uh, too low for my challenge. I'm nervous. You might like the drama 81 Diver. Is it like 81 Dojo? No, I, I, I think I've heard of 81 Diver. What is it, though? I, so Tommy, like, uh, if, if Tommy's here, he can say. But Tommy, my, my friend, he always recommends these, like, wild, obscure anime that are amazing. Uh, I feel like he's recommended 81 Diver before. 81 Dojo is actually named after. That's sick. That's actually, that's amazing. Karnogo is the best Shogi anime. It has Shogi in it, sort of. 
Hikaru no Go is fantastic, and I love the Shogi character. <laughs> He's such a douchebag, and I love that, like, Shogi is, like, the Chad version of Go. I love that so much. Uh, but unfortunately, it was not about Shogi, it was about Go. But it was still really good. Hikaru no Go is one of my favorites ever. It got a t I gave it a 10 out of 10 on, like, my anime list. 81 Dojo is named after the 81 Square Universe, which comes from a phrase in 81 Diver. What the heck? Ah! No, 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 one done. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. Uh, waiting for someone else. But I'll come back to you. I have to get one win to propel me into one Q. Oh, this is going to be really hard. I, uh, one win with five Q and up. So it's a good warm-up game. If I get the win, then we get propelled forward. If I lose, it's going to be detrimental. Now, I do have two ranging rook options on my list. Which is really good. So this is the end of the nose. Like, yes, today is the end. I'm going to finish it. Even if it takes me a little while. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daigotsu. Dude, I, you just followed me like two days ago. I have, Thank you so much for the sub. I, I don't think I've ever given a sub to someone after... I'm trying to think. When was the... I've only subbed to a few people on Twitch. And one of them was after, like, three years of watching. I'm, like, <laughs> that's insane that you subbed to me after two days. Thank you so much, Daigotsu. I hope your day's going amazing. <sighs> I'll play some music while we wait. But during the game, I think all music will be off. But, yeah, I was always picky with subs for some reason. And then the one time I did sub to, like, a... <laughs> a smaller streamer i've mentioned this story before i subbed to a smaller streamer one time and i they're a great streamer i i've hosted them before they're fantastic i'm not gonna say their name but i subbed to them once just gave them a one month sub and then like eight months later i get an email saying your subscription has renewed i had renewed a one month sub every month for eight months not knowing like i spent forty dollars <laughs> <laughs> what she totally deserved it. She totally deserved all the subs. She's a great person. I just didn't know. I thought it was hilarious. So now I'm afraid to sub to people. <laughs> not saying, not saying you shouldn't sub, but just, just uh, be careful. It's not on auto renew or anything like that. Like that's that's your money. That's important. Uh, waiting for someone else. One dons are a little too high right now. What's up, Lily? I hope your day's going amazing. I haven't seen you too much. I know I saw you yesterday, I think. You said hi yesterday, but I didn't see you too much. Uh, hopefully we can play a game. Maybe not today, because it's a, the Nuzlocke, and I'm trying not to play viewers. But I want to do a viewer day next week. I have a, I have it planned out. I'll, I'll go over my plan. Watch, here's my plan for next week. Y'all get a sneak peek for being here early. Why is my... Alright, y'all get a sneak peek. So, next week, I unsub from people who stopped streaming. Listen, I didn't want to stop streaming. But yeah, that's fair. I always check to, to see. That's smart. Here's my stream uh, schedule for next week. On Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a fun little... Uh, we'll call it a read-along. I'm trying not to spoil what it is. It's going to be kind of hard. <laughs> That's going to be one of my hardest streams is on Tuesday. Uh, I don't know what my punishment will be if I fail it. I still haven't decided that. On Thursday, I have a challenge stream, like always. But it has a little twist with chat, so it'll be interesting. I'm curious to see how it goes. Wednesday, I have no idea what I'm doing yet. So I have to, I have to get that all planned out. What the heck is my YouTube doing? Why are my videos all square? Get out of here, square videos. All my videos are square. I can't. <laughs> yeah, we're still in 5Q+. Plus, so I'm just waiting for someone to give me a challenge right now. I've actually been been watching Detective Conan. Since my brother and Jin. Detective Conan is so popular in Japan. If you go to Japan, you'll see it everywhere. I've never even heard of it until I got to Japan. And apparently it's all right. Bogyoku's 4Q. I'm not, I'm not playing Bogyoku. I know it's Time Zombie. 
That's the problem. If I knew it wasn't Time Zombie, I, I don't think I'd play it at all still. It said the name is Bo Yoku. I don't want to play that. Oh, finally. Not a square video. All right, here we go. Today, we have a bit of a Shogi Nuzlocke. I know there's part one a month ago, part two yesterday, but today is going to be the finale. Whether my brain burns out or not, I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to take it one step at a time, and we're going to do our best to win this. Not because I want to win, not because chat wants me to win, I just kind of want to get the Nuzlocke over with. I want to be done. <laughs> I just want to say I won a Nuzlocke. I guess you could say it's for my own win, but I really, I just want to get the whole check off the list and come back to it in like a year kind of thing. This Nuzlocke is hard and no one else has ever attempted it. I want to be the first one to do it before anyone else attempts it. So that is the goal for today is we finally scratch off that win and call it, call it quits. <laughs> Necrodes, hi man. I hope you're doing amazing today. Uh, speaking of, what has everyone been doing today? I don't know when y'all's day starts. I don't know any anyone's sleep schedules. My sleep schedule is messed up. I wake up like an hour before I need to leave. And then I rush all morning because I'm very slow at getting ready. And so like this morning, I was totally late. My grandpa, he never comes over to my house. I, a fun, a fun little a quick story. I'm walking out the door this morning with my backpack, I got the ring light, I got everything set up. And then my grandpa comes in, great guy. But he's like, hello? And I was like, what? I was like, hi, grandpa. And so he, we're just talking, and I'm like looking at the clock. I'm like, oh no, I'm totally gonna be late for stream. And guess what? I was only 20 minutes late, so we're okay. <laughs> now everyone is sleeping. It's 9.40? People go to sleep at 9.40? People go to sleep at like midnight where I live. It's very annoying. Oh, there's a 2Q. I know I can beat him. It's the same guy I played yesterday. I'm playing him. Let's do it. We're playing side pawn picker. He's a ranging rook player. Ooh, he's ranging rook. I should play ranging rook. Let's do our best. Onigashimasu. I don't know what strategy I'm going to play yet. Let me look at the thing real quick. I'm going to play side pawn picker just because I kind of know it. And it's not the end of the world if I lose it, but this will be a good game to get started with. I can't do side pawn picker. This is not side pawn. Well, now it's too late. Well, now it's too late. <laughs> um, we can still fix this. We can, we can fix this. Um, man, side pawn picker, man. How am I supposed to play an opening if I can't play it every single time? Who, who suggested it? Was it you, Time Zombie? Yeah, I could play Ranging Rook here and just do, like, Bald Mino fun style. But if he attacks, oh, this is terrible. It was Aiden. Where's Aiden? What's up, Maylee? How you doing, man? You have to find someone else who wants to play into it. What? Okay, Aiden's fired. <laughs> if y'all see him, tell him it's over. Crap. Let me think. Let's open up Bishop Diagonal first. Thank you for the follow, Yuko911. I hope your day is going amazing. I Not need. <laughs> I need to. Uh, what's the word? I, I I was supposed to change that notification, but I didn't have time today. So thank you, Yukio, for the follow. I I'm almost at 500. This is actually insane. Thank you all so much. I hope you're having an amazing day, Yuko. Uh, let's see here. I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> Listen, man, a side pawn picker, it's a trash opening anyway. But I'm gonna, still going to try my best with it. I 
I just have an idea right now that might may or may not work. Y'all kind of see what I'm going for? Edge attack? What? Why? Why, why, why? Why? I take takes Rook over, maybe? And I can get a promotion down there? I don't know. I don't know. Rook over blocks with pawn. No, not rook over. Lance drops lance. I move over. Promotes. I get a bishop. What is... I'm confused what the plan is. I don't know this. Uh... I don't know this Mukai Visha, I've never seen this. Lance here seems fun because I can play... Lance here just seems fun, right? Am I playing into it? I'm not going to read chat. Yuko, thank you. I'm not going to read chat just in case there's spoilers. I am curious to see how this plays out. Yeah, so if I place pawn here, it's too late, but I can promote down here. Now, if he places pawn here, I push. Mm. Let's think. I can promote down here. Threaten to take knight. But that's not strong enough. I promote here if he takes. I drop pawn. Yeah, I think promoting here I think is stronger. I promote. He takes. I drop pawn. If he goes up, I take. He pushes pawn. I back up. He can do lance in front of me, and then I can just drop pawn. I don't know this strategy at all. This is wild. Actually, instead of doing that, I can promote first. There we go. My rook kind of dies here, but I just go over one. If he takes my rook, I take bishop. Let's think here. Bishop covers this. If he goes here, I just drop pawn. Bishop takes Lance. Um, I could take Silver. He takes Silver drop here. Or he takes with Rook and then Bishop drop here. Bishop drop. I might have a stronger drop. Hold on. I'm not reading chat right now. Chess with slavery? Exactly, Yuiko. <laughs> Welcome to Shogi. I say I'm not reading chat, then I immediately read that. Knight here, really strong. Because it forced him to move his rook, and then I can drop silver. Takes, takes. Well, I can move his rook first. So I can do knight. If he moves his rook back, I just drop bishop. Or I do bishop here. If he backs up, I can promote downward. Or I can even promote over here. Uh, silver drop here kills his rook.
Think, think, think. Bishop takes. Getting in the same diagonal. As is king. That allows me to do a knight drop here and then push silver. Rook here. This is kind of protected. I have knight drop here. He runs with king. I do silver up. And then he can just do gold here, I guess. Um, rook drop here. Mm, let's think, let's think. I have rook drop here, actually. No, I, that's, that's dumb. Knight drop here? Push here? And then I have bishop back, putting pressure on his king. Knight drop here is really good. Knight drop here I think is really good. Knight drops on my silver. He has lance, however. Oh my gosh, this is exactly like one of the games I saw online. I take here. I'm threatening to steamroll. It's a discovery check. He t I take, he takes, I take first. It's discovery. I have the slight advantage. And now I don't have the advantage. I didn't think that through. Because he still has Lance. Hold on. <laughs> I back up. Lance drop. Takes, promotes. Takes, rook drop maybe. Let's try this. I think, I think attacking here is better. I think it's too slow to defend. I don't know. That might be stupid of me. I think it's too slow to defend. Okay. So now I have, I can do pawn here, he takes, pawn again, and that's really strong, having a pawn right here. No, no, I do pawn here, if he takes with knight, think, think, think. Pawn here, if he takes with silver, it's it's a huge fork. If he takes with knight. Pawn here is a lot stronger. Takes with knight. Gets rid of his edge defense. 
これより秒読みに入ります I can't think I know this is an interesting situation takes with night immediately okay I run back, I get a lance here. No, no, I need to attack. I need to attack. He, he's gonna have to take now, immediately. And then, which case, I can do gold here. He doesn't, I don't see a mate, but lance drop here, I can now block with pawn. That's also a good reason why pawn sack existed. I can now block with pawn. Interesting. If he takes bishop, I can just take here, right? I think I just take knight here. That might have been a dumb move, but I think I, I genuinely just take away his attack here. Let him have the bishop. I could edge attack. He has no defense on the edge. I have a lot of pawns. Push, take. Now he could put pressure here, but then I can drop knight. Interesting. Bishop there. Why? So he can take silver and I can't take it? I take bishop, he takes, I, I take edge. Giving him another rook isn't the end of the world here. Interesting. Bishop here, it's a fork. Bishop here, it's a fork. Now he has rook here, but I can block. Bishop here is a good fork.
putting a lot of pressure on that square. It's fine. And he's also giving himself an escape. Uh, knight here. No, I, I take... I take here. I, I take his... His rook? I take his... No, I don't take his rook. That's dumb. I can't think. I can't think. But this also allows me to place a gold here if he runs up. I need to do knight here. He runs. He could sack rook. I take. He drops gold. I back up. And then he still has a rook drop. And that would be a bad situation. I do knight. He runs up. I don't know. I think I take lance here. And it gives me a lance drop as well to defend with. That's huge. Okay. That's huge for me. Knight here. If he runs up. No. Um. Let's think. Let's think. Knight here. Pawn takes gold. No. I take pressure off by taking... I add pressure on by taking here. I could... Pawn takes gold. Gold, he runs. No, no, no.
終了終了 I take, he takes, rook drop Runs back, I need a lance I think これより病院に入ります。10秒。20秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7。Interesting. I take, he takes. I don't have any generals. Rook drop here. He goes back. Night drop. Oh, I can't think. Lance. Night drop is threat mate. I can't. I, I hate this Biomi, but I'm I'm gonna play to my best. The best of my ability. Okay. I'm thinking Lance. Two That's a defensive move and an offensive move. 
But I take here. Right? Because now I can do gold. If he takes, I do gold, promote. Gold, he takes, I take. He backs up here. Can't think, I can't think. One step at a time. Silver, bam, rook, bam, no, silver. Yeah, yeah. Silver, I think, works. Rook. Bam. Knight. <laughs> if bishop takes rook this promotes so it's fine that's why i have rook let's go yes yes Yes, dude! Holy crap! Holy crap! Wow! Holy crap! <laughs> My heart! Oh, thank you all for the GG's! I'm shaking! Holy crap, I read that! I, 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 like, I did good in Gioyomi for once! I'm winning today's Nuzlocke. I'm doing it. Uh, I'll go over like the wh why the Rook Drop worked. Because uh, what, he went back here. Silver, bam, Rook. Even if he takes his Bishop, it's a promotion, mate. And that's why, like... Oh! My heart! Oh my gosh! I can't do music anymore, Zandro. It's, uh, I have to focus, but yeah, no, your idea, whenever you said it works, you're not, you're not kidding. I play a lot better without music, without distractions. Oh, that was a long game. That was a hydrate. I got you. That was a long game. I'm the same with Mahjong. I feel you, dude. You really need that focus. Music, music is distracting. Tico Tico beat me yesterday, I think. He took one of my lives in the Nuzlocke. It is Marvel's time. Ha! Oh, oh my heart. I just wanna I just wanna go over so those of you who joined in the middle of the game, here's what it looked like. I was going to switch over to Ranging Rook here by the way. And then he pushed the edge. The silver did nothing for the rest of the game. Great guy. <laughs> Great piece. Oh, this this pawn was kind of a bluff. I'm not gonna lie. 
Even if I did promote it, I didn't know what to do after. It was a total bluff. I am very glad I took Knight here. I am very happy I took Knight here. This was a huge attack that I did not want happening. So I'm very happy I did that. Even though he gets a Bishop out of it, his gain would have been a lot more than just one Bishop. Here, he could have just done Pawn here. And then I go here, and then he does Pawn here. That would have been annoying. Uh, but he didn't do that, so we're good. <laughs> This pawn was also a bluff. I didn't know how to follow it up. But, uh, well, my follow up was if he took, I gold, he goes back, and then I threat mate. Uh, as well as defender uh, attacker removal, or defender whatever. So that was my idea. I didn't have mate there or anything. But he didn't take it. This was uh, this is what I was afraid of if he, if he ran. So I didn't know what to do here, so I took his Rook, because I was running out of time and I didn't know what to do. But, ultimately, I think it worked out, because he knew that if I dropped a Knight here, it was Mate, because I just dropped Rook there. So I took his Knight, which is Threat Mate, and he defends, really smart. I take another attacking piece. He starts to attack, I defend, I need the Lance, I do need the Lance, so I took it. He drops knight. Giving me a knight was a weird... I don't know. That was a weird knight drop. Don't know why he did that. Uh, but he got a general out of it. And I lost a general from it. But it's not like my silver is doing much on defense. Uh, he defends with gold. I drop lance. Don't know really. I know this bishop was to defend here. And to attack here, I guess, at the same time. But... I don't think it was the best bishop drop, but we were both in Bioyomi, so I can't blame him. He, he was at one second left. I promote, he takes. Here, I think it was interesting. Uh, because I had promote pawn. I had a lot of options here. He also had a lot of options, so it was scary. Oh! I learned a lot by listening to everything. Good game, very good. Thank you, Daigotsu. Seriously, man, thank you. I like to listen how you think about the next moves. Thank you, man. My vote is now to add Gongi as a bailout option. Bluffing with your attack is a part of show. Oh yeah, totally. I love bluffing with pawns. And sometimes it works. Like sometimes it's not a total bluff. So they really have to think about it. And thinking through pawn drops is annoying. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna keep side pawn picker. But I'm not going to be very strict about it. Um, or we can change it. If chat has, thinks of a different idea, let me know. Shogi seems fun. Where's a good place to learn how to play? Uh, the best place to learn how to play, just playing in general, is 81 Dojo. But a good community to get involved with is actually not my own. It's a community named Shogi Harbor. Amazing Shogi community. They're on... Her Discord is very, very active. Um, and so if someone wants to link her discord right now uh, Shogi Harbor has an amazing discord. Uh, I don't have her discord linked I really need to link it, but that is probably the best resource for learning and getting into it and why Z, I'm glad to see you back man. I know you're a go player, but Shogi is a ton of fun Lee Shogi has, yeah, Lee Shogi is a good place to just like learn how the pieces move Lee Shogi is great. I Didn't even think about that good idea All right Let's do some marbles. Woo! Oh, Tico Tico beat me yesterday. I got my revenge. Wait, did, was it him or was it Charo Taro? <laughs> they both have similar names. Let's do some marbles. Determine what our next strategy is. If you don't know how Nuzlocke works, I only have a certain amount of lives. And so now we get to pick the next strategy and the next life. So if you are in chat, in, in approximately two minutes, I will be making you participate in a race. What does this race entail? Literally nothing. You just press exclamation point play and you're all of a sudden in the race and everything is good to go. If you win the race, you get to pick my next shogi opening. If you lose, you are perma banned for good. I say that every day. I would never ban anyone. 
Uh, but no, if you lose, it's no big deal. If you win, you get to pick the next opening. Uh, Time Zombie's already doing exclamation point play. Hold on. Another update? It updated yesterday! It literally updated ye Okay. Hold on. Yo, Time Zombie, did you ever get in contact with Steam uh, <laughs> and let them know that their games are broken? I love Steam. But... Yeah, I, I, I won with side pawn picker declined. Yeah, I need to be less strict about it or we just need to change the strategy. So if you have a better idea for like a static rook strategy, I'm down. But yeah, it was declined and I didn't really know what to do based off of that. Can we do a map where people fall off? Of course. We'll do a harder one with a low survival rate. Yeah, I don't know why there's so many updates in this game. Sometimes you just need to vent some steam. <laughs> yeah, through steam. I use steam to vent my steam. Let's play a nice little react, relaxing song. While it loads. Michael, how's your day been, by the way? Welcome to chat. I won my last game. I clutched it out, man. I'm not sure how much you saw. But that's like the reason why I play Shogi is those like... In the end game moments are just so much fun. And Go has the same thing. It's just... Shogi has a weird attachment in my heart. We're at 8 out of 10 wins. I'm so close. I'm so... Dude, the next opening, I swear, it better be a good one. Whoever wins this race, please, for the love of God, pick the nicest opening you can think of. Pick Central Anaguma. Pick anything Anaguma. I will play Anaguma with my heart out. Uh, you can even pick mirror. I can mirror their moves. You can come up with an opening as long as it's easy to understand. It just has to be something I can open with anything. Mid game is great. I'm not very good at mid game. Uh, I need to practice mid game, which I'm actually doing. I have. Hold on. Real quick. Real quick. I need to give a huge shout out to Rico and Shogi Harbor for both sending me Shogi books, by the way. While I was on my temporary break from not streaming, I received three books in the mail. Two from Rico, and one from Shogi Harbor. And the one I got from Shogi Harbor was Masuda's Kifu Study. It's like literally a hundred Masuda Kifus. It's the best thing in the world. And so it's just a great way to study. And he plays Central Rook sometimes, so those are fun to study. And as well as Rico for sending me two Joseki books. One on regular Joseki problems, and two on edge attacks. The edge attacks, the edge attack book I've been reading every single night. It has improved my edge attacks immensely. So thank you so much, Rico and Shogi Harbor. Like I've already thanked them personally. I just want to let y'all know that they are the best people in the world. Um, they're actually amazing. All right, let's let's find a low survival rate map. Yeah, that edge attack book is the best thing, actually. It's just edge attack problems that you just solve. It's so good. What are the titles? I have pictures. Hold on. I'll pull up the pictures. First picture we have... Joseki at a glance and edge attack at a glance. Two amazing books. Edge attack at a glance, I think, personally, is my favorite. Joseki at a glance... Kinda includes a bunch of Joseki and isn't the most practical if you're trying to study like one Joseki line. Not the most practical, but Edge Attack at a Glance has helped me out immensely. So those are from Rico. And then Shogi Harbor sent me this beautiful, beautiful Masada book. Uh, and it's. I, I love everything. Like, I am the luckiest person in the world. Uh, this Masada Kifu book is so, so much fun to read. I just go through the Kifus on my board at home. Great way to study. Alright, it's Marbles time. We'll do... The dojo sounds fun, but I don't, I'm not sure if people die in... House of Pain, that sounds fun. Where's House of Pain? It disappeared! House of Pain! If you don't know how this works! Exclamation, exclamation point play in the chat right now to join the race. You can see everyone's starting to join. 
Oh wow, there's a lot of okay, there's a lot of people joining. <laughs> there can only be one winner. And this race will be extremely hard, by the way. So best of luck. I'm gonna look at the controls real quick. Slow mo is T. Okay, T. I can do slow mo. Top 10, interesting. Left alt, perfect. Alright, I found I think the most important is slow mo here. Alright. What? Where'd my mouse go? Okay. You have approximately 30 seconds to join the race. Race starts in 28 seconds. Press exclamation point play if you want to play. And we're off. Aiden takes a quick lead yet again. He won a game yesterday, which means he's probably hacking. But there's no way to hack. Little does he know this is just marbles. But Aiden quickly takes the lead. Time Zombie and then give a little kiss. Smooch on the cheek as they pass by each other. Time Zombie and Aiden struggle to go through the same hole. That is a common problem amongst... Never mind, I'm not going to finish that joke. Yuiko comes up from behind, kind of gets stuck, and everyone is stuck in the blender right now. This is hilarious. Everyone's struggling. Melee and Virden are the first ones to make it through. Virden takes his own path. Melee takes the other. Both of them just fly through the blender. Never mind, Virden flies through the blender. Melee's kind of uh, having problems. Oh my gosh, Time Zombie, you were the first one in the blender and the last one out. <laughs> Viridin still in the lead, destroying his opponents. I keep getting caught up on the track, but Viridin is, of course, doing his best right now. I think there's a way to go down. Oh, oh, that's not the button. I can just fly down like here. Viridin. In the lead, Melee quickly and close behind. Synchro coming up fast. Might pass through his one blender. Aw, oh, get stuck on the second one. I think Virden has this in the bag. But this is a long and arduous map. I don't know who the winner's gonna be. Because now Synchro is taking on his arch nemesis, the blender. <laughs> Virden makes it through! Okay, Virden, you're insane today. You're actually insane. You have just passed through every blender flawlessly. He just takes shortcuts. Melee close behind, though. This is a close game. First one, Viridin's unstoppable. He's actually unstoppable. Melee, Viridin, right next to each other. Who takes it home? I don't know. Melee has a straighter line. If you think about it, Melee hits this, still has momentum going in. Viridin kind of hit the wall a little too much, so he's going to have to take the outer path. This is going to be an extremely close race. Melee takes the lead with momentum. Is anyone close behind? Viridin gets hung up on the final wall, and I think Melee takes it home. Congratulations to Melee. We need more gore. I didn't know what this map would be like. We'll do it. Uh, my next win, we'll do another one. Duck Castle. Viridin, they, uh, congrats on your win today, man. Um, as you can see, Viridin made it in the hole first. No other people are even here. Viridin, what kind of strategy would you like to play? <laughs> Howdy, Soviet Blobfish. <laughs> yeah, GG's Viridin. I'll be ready in one minute. What do you mean? What, is that, what does that supposed to mean? Uh, let's see who gets in last. Aiden, I think, gets in last, even though he had a great start. <laughs> Damn it, why do I have to play Duck Castle, dude? Congrats, Melee. Congrats, man. Alright. It's Duck Castle time. That music was a little too chill. I'm removing it from the playlist. Remove. <laughs> Alright. We are adding duck, unfortunately. 
but just like with everything, we'll do our best. We'll play our best. Duck, I know how to play it. I've been beaten by it a hundred times. I'm just not very good at it. So I don't necessarily know how to play it well. I do know how to play it though. I love you too, Melee. It's just, I wish you... I wish you a safe but terrible... No. <laughs> I was gonna say safe but terrible day, but no, I do hope your day is good. But you did summon the duck. Which is the worst part of any Nuzlocke. Alright, duck is now on the list. I'm happy though, that last win was huge. Okay, so according to the rules, we now have to be a 1Q or above. That's gonna be kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what if I do this light? Am I, am I, am I back? Am I back? Hello? Am I good now? My mic says it's working. Okay, I don't know why it turned off. I actually don't know why. There's no reason. I didn't press a button. That was weird. If I get muted again, let me know. Uh, but yeah, I said I'd mod melee if, uh, duck beat a Don player. I don't think it will, but we'll try our best. I'm gonna go pee real quick, run a quick ad, and then we're gonna get into the next game. Thank you all for being here. I hope you stick around during the quick ad break. BRB. Zombie. <laughs> Time zombie. What? What the heck? What the time zombie? Whoa. Ferdinand underscore von underscore Zeppelin 33 just subscribed. Dude, you've gifted like 20 subs in the last two days. It's a fort. I have 30 wow. subs right now. All my subs are because Maybe of you, Time Zombie. Subscribed. Everyone who just got a sub, please say thank you to Time Zombie. Dude, thank you so much. Seriously, man. Uh, you don't... <laughs> I don't know what your life is like, but you really don't need to do any of this. Like, I, Time Zombie, you're, you're a great, amazing person, and I appreciate everything you do, but please don't feel obligated to give subs in any, in any way. Thank you so much, man. You're the number one Shogi streamer. There's only like one Shogi streamer at a time. Everyone's the number one Shogi streamer. Thank you so much, Time Zombie. Streaming three days a week. I'm trying my best. Dude, you really make my day. Like, I will genuinely, I, I went home yesterday and the day before and told them about the subs you, like, told my parents about the subs you gifted and everything. So, it, it, 
It's insane. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm just extremely excited. I, I, I'm not gonna cry, <laughs> but I'm very happy. Thank you, thank you for the five gifted subs. Uh, six, technically, because you gifted a sub to Necrodes as well, I think, while I was peeing. I don't know why. Thank you so much, Time Zombie. Seriously, man. <laughs> That's insane. Alright, next, next game. You're insane, man. Oh, there's a 1Q online. Oh, they're really good. Their win rate is almost unbeatable. One, one Q. Hold on. One Q. Please. Yes. Okay. What strategy do I want to play? Let me think. Let me think. I'm going to play Ranging Mino. Ranging Mino. We're winning! We're winning this one Q today! I say one Q, we're winning this Nuzlocke today! Holy crap! What the heck? What the heck? What the, what is happening? Is someone in, yeah, it's that someone in chat! It can't be a real one Q. What the heck? It's not a real 1Q? Look them up. Alright, let's 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 see. Does it count? Wait, no, no, no. If it, okay. Does it count? <laughs> I'm actually gonna take a chat, chat, chat vote on this. Yeah, I feel like they just weren't paying attention, right? Alright, chat vote on the screen. Does it count? One or two in chat. One for yes, it counts. Two for no. Even if I win the Nuzlocke early, I'll just keep streaming. But I'm winning today. I'm totally gonna win this. It looks like we have an overwhelming yes in the chat. There were two people who denied otherwise, but that's okay. Because majority rules. We are a democracy. I want to look them up first. Okay, time's on me. Yeah, I don't- yeah, unless it was someone in chat, but I don't think it was someone in chat. They have an, an Italian flag or something. I don't know what flag that is. My family's Italian, I should probably know what the Italian flag looks like. They have a flag. Ireland. Ah, it's similar. It's- It's- <laughs> Just a hop and a skip away, really. Oh, wow. GG's. Um. What? I don't want. <laughs> do we do marbles again? What do we do? <laughs> Three games, all losses, provisional rating. Time Zombie, what's your vote? Well. Okay, with that, knowing that, is everyone's vote still the same? Do, or should I take a revote? I want. I want to. I mean, it said 1Q. I didn't really make an official rule. Are we are we wanting to do a revote or are we wanting to do revote? All right, all right. Revote. Uh, Y'all, please vote yes. <laughs> unbiased, unbiased. Nyrox says press one. These things happen. Yeah, I know. We didn't make a rule saying provisional ratings didn't count. It said he was a one Q. Keep that in mind. However. He's a new 1Q, so it's not as solidified as someone who's played for a long time. 
Everyone still votes one. That is a yes. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. And anyone who voted no, that's completely okay. I understand. I'm not mad at you in any way. I understand your reasoning. I understand both sides' reasoning. Democracy is overrated. <laughs> you have Soviet in your name. Dude, let's go. Okay, quick marbles, quick marbles. This will be the last marbles of the Nuzlocke. So whoever gets this opening, please make it a good one. We need all the lives we can get. This next game is going to be insane. I want to do one with like low survival rate. I don't know how to... Let's, let's pick one with... I don't know how to pick low survival rate. Oh, we can do like a viewer choice. Nah. Does anyone on this, uh, does anyone see a name on here that looks interesting? A leap to remember? Oh, that sounds fun. We're doing that. The portal one has no survival. It's hell, but perfect. What, the portal one? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, wait. If this map is bad, we'll do the portal one. It won't let me turn around. Everyone, exclamation point play to join the race. Exclamation point play in chat right now. All you have to do is win. Even if you don't know anything about Shogi, you just win and then ask someone else to pick the strategy for you. It's kind of fun. Then again, I've never been in a marble race. <laughs> I was in one accidentally yesterday and I lost. I got last place. All right, let's do it. Wait, can I be in the marbles race? Would y'all let me be in the marbles race? <laughs> put yourself in. <laughs> do I get to pick the opening if I put never? <laughs> No. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not gonna win. I'm not, okay, okay, okay. Can I, can I join? Hold on, more votes, more votes. <laughs> one or two in chat. Uh, Yeah, one or two in chat. Can I join? Yes or no? Y'all, I'm not gonna win. What are the chances I win this? <laughs> Thank y'all. I'm participating. It's an it's a resounding yes. Zandra hates me. All right, I'm joining exclamation point play. Let's go. All right, let's do it. You have approximately 30 seconds to join if you're not already in. But it seems like almost all of you are in, so I just kind of the timer was more aesthetic at this point. All right, it's sunglasses time. Wait, what are the what are the how do I lower? I know how to go. Oh, forward, backward, left, right. All. Oh, oh, it's starting. Good luck, everyone. And we're off. Fearden again takes the quick lead, but that is okay. That uh, it happens. Am I in the right OBS setting, by the way? I am not. There we go. Viridin's in the lead, and let's pull up the player settings. I cannot. <laughs> it's okay. Viridin's in the lead. There, There's Melee. Look at that beautiful picture, but unfortunately, Melee isn't in the lead because... Holy crap. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Where am I? Uh, I'm on oh, in second. No. Okay, this part doesn't matter who's in the lead, by the way. If I win again, it'll be Millennium. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, we ban Melee. Uh, Melee is in first! Okay, there's no way Melee wins twice. What are the odds? Yuiko flying out of the gates. Great, uh, great try. I almost made it over the blender. Aiden, with momentum, flies through. Did not even touch the blender. Aiden and Melee! Get out of here, Melee! Where's my, where's my Marvel? Melee's in the lead. <laughs> I'm sorry, <what> happened? <laughs> oh, 
Yuki, Yuki, oh, y Yuiko and Aiden. Yes, Aiden, let's go. I'm rooting for Aiden. Come on, Aiden. Yuiko and Aiden, I'm rooting for him. Lazy problems, let's go. Anyone but Melee at this point. Let's go, Aiden. Cruising through, it all comes down to this last minefield, and it looks like Aiden kind of getting held up. Someone just sh Goodbye, lazy problems. <laughs> Aiden, I believe, takes it home. Melee in second place. Oh my god. <laughs> GG's, GG's. <laughs> a lazy problems, me and you had a rough race, man. <laughs> Congrats, Aiden. What is the strategy going to be today? How do you play? All you have to do is do exclamation point play. But unfortunately, that was the last race of the day. And for Aiden, takes it home. Aiden, what is it going to be? If Nara gets last place, does he ban himself? I don't think I could stream anymore. I don't know how that would work. Aiden, <laughs> Aiden does win quite a bit. He just has a... <laughs> Dude, me and you, lazy problems. We had... Uh, I don't even know what happened to me. I look back. I I was gonna say I hope I, my marble knocks out Melee, and then I turn around and my marble's a mile away. <laughs> All right, Aiden, think it through. You you have the world at your disposal. What's well, a fun song? Oh, this one should be good. Oh, this one's too. These are too peaceful. There we go. Oh no, that one's too- that one's too dramatic. <laughs> Dude, I- I thought about wanting to do VTuber stuff, but I, my personality doesn't fit it, I don't think. I'm not- I don't know. I- I wouldn't be a good VTuber, and I like streaming in front of a camera. It'd be fun to try. It'd be fun to do like a- a VTuber stream once in a while, but nothing I'd stick with ever. And we all have four marbles because we will never see it again. We are on the last and final game of the day. If I win, if I lose, then we're. It's gonna be a little rough. Woo! You're too EK men to do VTuber stuff. <laughs> I don't. I think VTubers IRL are still pretty cute. I've never seen one. I don't think anyone's seen one. But I feel like they're, no one's really ugly. <laughs> Yeah, you have to have a certain personality for it. Yeah, I totally agree. I'm gonna turn down the AC a, a little bit. All right, Aiden, what's it gonna be today? Decide ASAP as fast as you can. You actually have seen them, and they are cute IRL. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, like, genuinely, like, that's how... They have to go through a hiring process, same as anyone else. If they don't have, like, cutesy traits, I don't think a lot of them would get hired. Well, that's, like, the company VTuber stuff. Like, the private VTubers? I have no idea. One time it was actually a dog. I've heard of that. That was, a uh, Corona. That was a meme, though. That was a meme. That was Corona. That was hilarious. All right, Aiden, today, the opening will be, question mark, question mark, question mark. Do I need, right hand, fourth file? Right hand, oh, okay, Migishkin Bisha. All right, right hand, fourth file, Ruck. I like that strategy. I am totally down to play that. Thank you, Aiden. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Oh, I've never won one before. Brendan! Wait, what the heck, Brendan? Didn't you sub? <laughs> you subbed like two days ago, Brendan. What? <laughs> Thank you for the sub 13 months in a row. Let's go. Thank you so much, Brendan. Uh, I don't. <laughs> you didn't need to sub twice. 
<laughs> I appreciate it. And congrats on your insane job opportunity. Uh, I know in chat, Brendan, by the way, uh, Time Zombie also does a similar thing to your job. So if you want to ask him any questions, uh, he, he, he might be someone to talk to. All right, let's see. Migishken Bisha. I do like it. Good opening. Good choice. This is our final list. Central Rook. Ranging full Mino. So, ranging everything but Central Rook. Side Pawn Picker. Duck. And Migishken. Those are all the options we have today. And all we have to do is win with one of those. This is the best I've ever been in a Nuzlocke. And now it's time. Let's do it. Are there any one dons online? There is. There's a lot of one dons online. Let's do it. He rejected it. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know, Time Zombie. Brendan's a cool dude. It'd be interesting if y'all talked. From what I've heard, y'all do similar things. That's up to him. Um, use duck. I'm not. <laughs> duck is a last resort. And for I'm in the I'm in the zone right now, so I don't want to. No, I don't want to use the worst ones first. I'm in the zone. If I use the worst ones and lose, it it brings me out of the zone. I need to I need to carry this momentum. Posture check. You're right. I just need to scoot forward. All right. Duck will win it all. I don't. I don't, I don't know about that, Virden. I don't know about that one. Uh, come on, Masa. There's only one one don online who doesn't who who isn't a blitz game. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, we're gonna wait for a game. Yeah, Brendan, I was talking about you. Oh, that's sick, man. No problem, Brendan. I was just mentioning how cool your job is. May Big Yoko... <laughs> Big Yoko? <laughs> May Big Yoko rest in peace. May Bog Yoku rest in peace. It served us so well. Bog Yoku got us through half of the Nuzlocke, which is insane. Duck must follow and end it all. I, <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Very close, Ascotch. Very close. He was a one Q. If he was a one Don, I would have pressed accept. I have to play a one Don and up right now. That is the rules. <laughs> oh, I want I want this. I want this badly. I'm gonna do a practice room, so that way people are actually like inclined to join and not worry about their not 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 worry about their rank, but not like a lot of one dons don't play lower players because they just lose a lot of points for losing. I don't think anyone's gonna challenge me, so I'm just gonna click practice. One don or up still, it'll still be same skill level. I'm just changing it. Four losses and duck will come from behind. I'm not going to lose. This next game, I'm calling it. I'm playing amazing right now. I'm going to win. I'm calling it. I've just won two games in a row. I The Nuzlocke, is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be over. I'm add I'm adding <laughs> I'm adding a song to my playlist for whenever I get my sick win.
Now, do you remember the game I sent you a couple months ago where I played a one down who played duck? I think I do. I don't remember who won. It was a long time ago. I can't picture it. I do remember you playing duck. I don't remember much about the game, though. Not gonna lie. Play six on with the duck. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not gonna throw the run. Now, if I do beat this Nuzlocke, well, this is all hypothetical. There's still one game I have to extremely focus on. If I do beat this Nuzlocke, the next Nuzlocke will be harder. Straight up. I'm not doing the same Nuzlocke again. All rankings will go up. The final one might be a five down or something. But for now, I have to beat this challenge. And I'm so very close. And I know we can do it. Ha! I, I called it time zombie, y'all were close. There's someone online. Tudon? Tudon. No, 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 actually, Virden, I'm taking that back. Not for this last game. I need to focus. Not for this last game. I'm not doing any challenges for this last one. I'm giving you your points back. Trust me, I want to, but I really need to focus. I'm so nervous right now. Hydrate, I got you. Get up and stretch. I'll do those things while I wait for a game. In the middle of a match, I won't do those things. Let's hydrate. Thank you, Yuiko, for the hydrate. Oh, I'm so nervous. There's a, there is a Tudon online I could challenge. We love you. You'll win this. Thank you, Synchro. Thank you. Play some. Let's play some epic music to go into this match. Because, as you know, the Nuzlocks have been long and arduous. I started from one at my very first Nuzlocke, and I got to nine out of ten wins. In the second Nuzlocke, I made it just as far, only failing right before the very end third nuzlocke i don't i don't really remember the third or the fourth nuzlocke the fifth nuzlocke didn't go so well either as i lost in the very first match but the sixth nuzlocke is right now we're at the finish line all we have to do is take that step and cross we can do it I know we can do it I'm going to play my heart out no music hardly any talking I've been one dons before and I can do it again we're gonna win this I promise I'm putting away chat 
Goodbye, thank you all for, all for the good lucks. I'm just gonna minimize chat for now. I need to focus. Thank you all. I'm so nervous. I know I said I wouldn't talk, but I just need to express some of my feelings right now. I'm very nervous. I didn't know if if pawn picking there was the smart idea. I know it is a test G. But I didn't know if it was a smart idea or not. Now if he opens up bishop diagonal, I easy trade. Then I bring my rook back. But I need to castle right now before anything bad happens. Now, y'all are allowed to chat about whatever, because I, I don't even have chat pulled up, so you're totally allowed to, like, backseat here, because I won't be able to read it. That's completely fine. Uh, I don't even have chat pulled up. I'm, like, looking where it's where it's normally is. It's not even pulled up right now. Uh, I know there's a lot of pressure right now. Um... But that's what life is about it's about like that that pressure it's about like how fun things can be really like that's why i play shogi is for that not the adrenaline but just the satisfying feeling of being able to do it just being able to solve these logic puzzles beat people through all these different methods and ways shogi is a ton of fun and this is one of those unique experiences that allow me to do that um now his castle is kind of strange I'm going to go straight back here in case there's a bishop trade. Uh, because the bishop trade would be really good for me right now. 
but a bishop trade would also be good for him because I'm hanging this pawn. Now, if I do this and he opens up his bishop, I bishop trade, he takes, and then I can do silver up, but then he has bishop drop here. So I'm just going to move it all the way back. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's enjoying the shogi today. I'm certainly having a blast. I hope you like my new ring light. I'm, I still have to get the lighting worked out. I just didn't have time to do it today. But I'll get it all worked out after the stream is over. So I'm sorry if the lighting isn't the best today. But I will definitely get that improved. He hasn't opened up his bishop diagonal. Switching to opposing rook here isn't something I am comfortable with doing, but if it is the only option, I'll do it. He has a lot of defense on the middle, which is my main worry right now. Uh... Because basically if he puts a lot of defense in the middle, I'm yeah, I'm kind of forced to attack through opposing or another method. I'm gonna bring silver up while I can. Just in case there's a possible bishop trade in the future. Uh no, because then he opens up bishop. Then it allows him to drop bishop there. I'm going to castle my king a little bit more before I bring silver up. Now, if he opens up bishop diagonal, I guess I could just push fourth file pawn and block the block the bishop trade. I could be the first one to bishop trade. But I don't know why he hasn't opened it yet. It's kind of scaring me. Okay, that's normal for static rook. They're kind of required to do that in a, in a sense. I push silver up now. If he offers a bishop's trade, I block. And then I can climb up my silver and possibly play posing. Now, if he offers a bishop trade, I can take it and then just move silver up, develop my silver, and then play opposing rook, which I'm actually comfortable with doing. So that I can do. I don't know which castle I want to do yet. Half Mino or Gold Mino. I haven't decided. I really like Gold Mino. And it works well. But he is playing Static Rook. And in that case, I think Half Mino works slightly better. Can y'all tell I'm, <laughs> I'm tryharding this? Bishop back. Udishino style opening. It's going to be a rapid attack now. Meaning I could push the head of the king. It's going to be a rapid attack now and I don't like that. But I can't necessarily freak out. I know how Udishino and similar styles work. That means the head of the king is really weak. Is extremely weak. Meaning this pawn is pinned. 
It's a rapid attack, meaning bringing bishop back and over here is very strong. I'm going to push up this pawn. It's going to... Kind of seems crazy, but this attack is, is too strong against this style of opening. I think we go instead of half Mino or anything of that sort, I think we go with a cozy castle here. That way my king isn't automatically in this diagonal. Now, some of you might be questioning my decisions, and that's completely okay, I understand. But I played Udashino for a long time, so I know it's I know the general weakness. This isn't technically Udashino, this is more so uh, Ijima Bishop pullback, which is very similar. Same attack, it's just slower. But it's the same style of castle, you have a weak castle overall. The head of the king is extremely weak, if I can find a way to exploit that. I can win this game. Now I want to push silver up as fast as possible so my rook has the opportunity to swing over. However, I also want my bishop being up here. Bringing my bishop up here allows him to attack. That's what I'm afraid of. Bringing bishop up here now may means he has to move first, in which case I can do silver up. And I, I really like those odds of playing. However, if he does silver here, I just back up, and if he pushes, I take, and I just bring gold up. It's an option. Um, I might have given him... I need to think this through. That might have been a mistake. It might have been too slow. He brings silver up to block. He brings silver up to block. If I take, it's not too slow, but I give him a bishop, and a bishop right now is extremely powerful. He does silver up and I go back. CL Smith, thank you for the raid. I am in the middle of a crazy game right now. This is the final game of my Nuzlocke. And I really need to win it. But thank you for everyone in chat. I'm not reading chat at the moment. Uh, so say hi to everyone. Um, this is an intense game of Shogi. I guess if he does silver up, I can do bishop back and just defend. Um, giving him one tempo though, which is really bad. But thank you for the raid. Like seriously, Sale Smith, thank you so much, man. Now he's about to hit Bioyomi sooner than me. He pushes. I take. Takes. That was a good move. That was the one I was afraid, afraid of. Because if I do Bishop back now, he pushes. I take, he takes, and then I have no way of defending him from promoting. I think my only option is go silver back, in which case he pushes here. Or I can sack for silver, which I don't like the idea of doing. Move here, he pushes. I do silver up, he takes, I do bishop back here. I'm a genius. Dude, thank you so much for the follow, one dumb hick. I'm like actually kind Your name, of man. I said it so seriously, too. Not to brag thank you for the follow, man. But like, man, I should be. I, I should go to school. That means a lot. Thank you. I lost tempo there. But I don't. I have another option. Losing one tempo isn't the worst thing in the world. But as Sente, if I was Gote right now, it'd be very, very bad. But 
I just lost the tempo. Game's still going. Everything's fine. It might all come down to that one tempo. That's just how this game works, but that's okay. I'm not reading chat at the moment, so if y'all are saying anything. Um, I'm seeing it scroll by, but I don't even have it pulled up. I just see my OBS layout. So, uh, if you want an explanation of Shoyi, um, there are little arrows underneath the pieces, and that'll point. And I'm sure chat would love to help you out right now. Um, chat can kind of explain what Shoyi is if you don't if you're if you don't know or you're interested. Chat will definitely help you out. I have an amazing community. I'm the luckiest person in the world. Um, so I'm glad that chat is here, especially right now. Bringing up this spawn, I think bringing up Bishop here is just straight up a bad move, but it wasn't the worst. He's using a lot of time thinking. Now, if that timer hits zero, we win, but I don't think that's going to happen. This is a pretty serious game, and he's taking his time with every move. I feel like a golf commentator right now with how low I'm talking. That's an interesting move, because now I can't do silver up at all. If I do pawn up here, he pawns. I it's same same similar play. Pawn up. He does pawn here, I do silver up. Which actually halts his attack, so that's a pretty decent move for me. It doesn't completely halt it, but it slows it down for sure. <sighs> Man, Shogi is so much fun. I'm so nervous right now, but this game's too much fun. Like, I'm smiling even though I'm terribly nervous. Silver up there. I was not expecting that. However, pawn here. Doesn't do too much because he's going to move it out of the way anyway. Switching to fourth file also kind of destroys this structure. But I think my main, my main goal here should be to get silver up. That way I can switch to opposing. Now, if you notice, him doing silver up there hangs his knight if the silver moves. So me getting my bishop on that diagonal is insanely powerful. And that is what I plan to do. I need to castle my king a little bit more. His king is technically safer than mine. Not the safest. He's built uh, with this style of attack, climbing two silvers. It's very risky. That's what I thought. Now king over here. Uh, That prevents... He might be trying to go for this pawn. Um, in which case, I kind of want to do like a silver crown style. But bishop needs to be covering here. So if he goes for this pawn... It's 
not the end of the world, I don't think. I can do silver up. He pushes, I go back. It's the exact same thing. Is there a better option here? Push pawn. Actually, push pawn here is not the best. But it allows me to get a double attack later on. I kind of like pushing pawn here. I'm going to do it. If I push pawn, he pushes. It's too slow. I just back up. This also, pushing this pawn, also gives me the option to switch over my rook to an easier attack, I should say. Pushing down the central file is not easy right now. That's a good move. I was hoping you'd do that. That's perfect. I can castle my king now. Why is that good? It prevents his silvers from going anyway. Castle my king a little bit more. Now uh, it does eliminate my bishop from moving over here. If the problem arises, but if he pushes here, I can switch over to a sleeve rook or a third file rook, I guess, in this case. I, so I can switch over to a third file rook and it's not the end of the world. It actually ends up working out pretty well. I think he recognizes that if I attack him, he's kind of weak. So that's why he's bringing this up to defend this. Now he can push here, take, and then switch over his rook, which I think he plans on doing. I think bringing my bishop back here. Uh, he pushes. I take. He takes. No. I take... He takes, I drop pawn. There's not much he can do. Except push. I can get a gold right here. He has a good attack here. But if I switch over my rook now. Even bishop works. I switch over my rook now and it halts a lot of his attack. I'm going to do it. I'm just slow him down. He's in Buryomi, and I'm not yet, but I'm about to be, so it doesn't really matter. He decides to do the attack. I take. No, what if I don't take? I don't take and he switches over rook. I take. 
He takes. I drop pawn. He pushes. Take. I still have more defense. But he's playing Orochino, so he has more in a way. I don't want to take here. Taking here, I think, is the bad option. Now a drop right here, like a, if we do trade rooks here, and drop right here doesn't work because I can do build up. I can take. If he pushes, I can trade. Um, now if he moves over. Still not an insane attack. He'd have to block with silver first. Now bringing knight up is a possibility. I could take. He gets pressure on me. I'd have to back up and I lose a tempo. I'm not going to take. I'm going to finish my castle first. Oh, I'm so nervous. This is this is a interesting game. Very interesting game. I lose this attack here, because he push, I take. Uh, I lose this, I lose this attack. Pawn here forces him to respond by moving over. Then I have time. I just need more time. So now I can do rook over. If he does rook back, I can just attack. Trade. Take. Play silver. I have no pawns, which is terrible for me. But... It sounds stupid, but I kind of just want to push Bishop up here. Because if he moves back, I push Pawn, meaning he can't move his silver, it's pinned. That, well, I don't think that was a good move. 
This, this is so hard to defend. It's literally a rapid attack. But I... Both of us are in Byoyomi, using it as best we can. My castle is stronger, so if I survive this attack with peace, with pieces at all, I can come back. My natural inclination is to go here. With Rook, right? But if I go here and he pushes, I can just bring gold up. I'm so nervous. <laughs> getting a silver drop right now works pretty well, I think. So getting do, doing a silver trade isn't the isn't the end of the world. I could switch to rook. Threaten to climb silver like this. Switch to rook. If he promotes, I take with bishop. I get middle again. Gold up. Very defensive. Fortifies my castle and lets me defend here. Rook up puts pressure on the middle. I want to go with gold up. That's what my instinct is telling me. I can even build high mean out of this. Thank you, Night L, for the follow, man. I'm like actually kind of insane. Thank you so much. Not to brag or anything. I hope well, you I, enjoy watching Shogi. Man, if it's your first time, I hope I, you have I an amazing time, man. Now, I, with this bishop here, I have bishop. I have options with bishop to promote. This is not a standard game by any means. There's a bug flying around. I'm just going to ignore it. I take. If he takes, I take. I take, he'll probably scoot over, and then I'll scoot over, and then I lose that. Um, that was a good move. That was a very good move. I take, he scoots over. I take here. Get an attack on the middle and just give up this side. I take, if he trades me, it's bad. I'm just... What am I doing? What am I doing? He hasn't moved yet. I almost gave him a silver. That would have been terrible. I was wanting to do gold up, but I couldn't let him promote right here. I need to do gold up ASAP. Now, if he takes with silver,
If he moves Rook over, I can do on up. That's an interesting move. That's a really interesting move. Why did he do that? There's fire trucks outside. Okay, that's smart. If I take, he takes, it's a trade, he drops silver and I can just go straight back, he drops pawn and I can swing over, target the head of his king, is that weird? Going here, be bad because he just goes there, that's a very good move. My instinct is to take with silver. I can do pawn here. No, pawn here moves the silver up. My instinct is take with silver here. Silver trade and then just back up. He's running out of pawns. Silver defends here, by the way, which is really cool. It's a neat little move. <sighs> so this kind of forces him to silver trade. Pretty much forces him to silver trade, to be honest. Which I think is worse for me. But he has to be very careful. My castle's a lot stronger. This, we're still in like the opening. We're not even like, we're like barely into the middle game right now. This is a long game. That is a move I'm confused about. That was like the best case scenario, he does that move. Knight up here forces a trade, but he can just do pawn here. Pawn here before he can before he can do that is really good. Pawn. If he trades, I get to promote. Man, I feel like I'm in like a professional match right now. I don't even feel like I'm streaming, I'm just talking to myself like I'm insane. If you pawn drops here, yeah, I just go over.
That's completely fine. Let me think. I take knight. He takes. I drop pawn. He gets to promote here. I can always drop pawn. I take knight. He has to take. In which case, I think I sack. Drop silver here. Genuinely, I think I take here. I know it sounds dumb. I think I take here. Takes with, takes with that silver. Thank you so much for the follow, man. I'm like actually kind of insane. Not to brag or anything. But like... On him. Man, I should be. Tanks, I, tanks, I should go tanks, to tanks. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow, Peridono. He promotes. This is what I was thinking. If I take, he takes, I take, and then he gets a gold. And takes away a defending piece. I take. What if I just take here? He takes, and then he gets to advance, I guess, for free. It's not the worst trade in the world. And the only problem is I'm taking away a defending piece, but he has a lot less defending pieces than me. So it's a pretty much an even trade. I take. This allows me to bring my bishop up here. Bringing it here isn't good because that bishop is there. Now he could do silver up there and to promote here. He doesn't. I'm getting lucky with a lot of these moves, I think. Is bishop up here too slow? Bishop back defends here and here. Mm. 
Bishop back is a really strong move right now. What if he does gold here, though? Then my bishop's dead. No, and then I do bishop up. Bishop back is really strong right now. I don't need to promote the bishop. Man, this game. This game. I hope everyone's enjoying watching. I hope everyone's... I, I remember there's a chat. I didn't forget about you, I promise. I very much remember there's a chat. Interesting. Uh, first reaction is silver here, right? Because he takes, I take, and then if he drops silver there, I can just go here. No, and then I just take his thing. Or I can do silver up. If he promotes, I just take his silver. I mean, I just take his bishop. Then I have bishop here. Silver here is like my first reaction, right? Silver, take, take, drop silver. I guess, yeah, he has gold here now, but I just take his bishop. I take, he promotes, I do silver up. I could just do silver up now. Get him out of this file first and foremost. If he moves over here, I just, I trap his rook, I think. I do this up now. If he takes my bishop, I take his rook and it's stronger for me. His rook dies if he moves to the side. Well, I guess... No, yeah, his rook dies if he moves to the side. He has to move straight back, in which case I can drop a pawn. His rook is dead. Silver here. Do I want his rook that badly? I take. He promotes. Silver. Let's get a piece first. I do silver, and he goes here, and then I just do pawn up. He sacks. Silver here is pretty good, but then he takes. So silver here prevents him from moving the silver forward. His rook is dead. I'm not sure if that's the biggest thing in the world for me, but that's two major pieces out. Am I still, am I still alive? I think I'm still alive. I hope I'm still alive. Yeah. 
40秒。50秒12345646 I take his rook he takes silver up a pawn here no on here, drag his gold up and then silver. Or I can just do silver there. And I'm guaranteed a piece. He doesn't have any pawns. <sighs> That's huge for me because a night drop here is devastating. Night drop here is actually really good. I even have rook drop here and stuff similar. I have a lot of good drops right now. Interesting. I guess that prevents knight drop. If he does bishop drop here, it's bad for me. But I just take gold. He can promote. Bishop here is really strong. I think bishop here would be a cool move. Something like knight drop. I want to do pawn here first. And then bishop here is going to, about to be very, very strong with knight drop. Not even with, with knight drop here, it's going to be pretty strong. Now bishop drop, if he moves pawn up, I can just take with silver, so that's okay. If he moves this back... Um, let's think. Night drop. Very strong. Gets rid of his silver. I then have bishop drop. I just need a need a piece. I'm gonna do bishop drop here. No, not yet, not yet. I think gold drop. I mean, rook drop here is very strong. But it doesn't stop this. If he does bishop drop here, I drop bishop here. Even if he does this, I just... I just take bishop. Sanjibio Yonjibio Kojibio, it's 
There's something there. Really? Wow. Um, gives them a lot of generals. I mean, I promote here, or I promote here. I promote here, and even if he wastes generals, I just, that's fine. Why is he targeting here? I just promote backwards, right? Or I can promote here. If I promote here, this night trap's gonna be insane. But I need to cut off this gold from doing anything. I wasn't expecting a bishop trap there. Take with gold here. He's out of major pieces. I'm a genius. Thank you for the follow. The Ningle Bird. Like actually kind of insane. Thank you so much, man. Not to brag or anything. But like, man, I Bishop drop be, here is extremely I strong. Go to school. Bishop drop here is extremely strong. But I might have a stronger attack. I'm um, even Remote here is very strong. Knight here, I'm really wanting to do knight here, but this this guy's in the way. This is really bad for me. I... This is really bad for me. Pawn? No. Takes, takes. That was a bad move, but I, c I couldn't think of anything to do there. That was a really bad move. That, that might have been even a blunder, but I still have options. This is going to be an extremely close game. But Bishop here forces them back. In which case I can promote. So it's not a terrible move. It's not awful. He has to do something about it. That's what I thought. So now I can do... I promote here. No, now I can do knight if he takes, I take threatening silver gold.
30秒40秒50秒1234567Really? Okay. I do bishop. He takes. I take. No, I can. You know, I could take silver. He takes. That's a that's a very good defensive move. But that means he also gave up on mates. So that's really good for me. I promote. No, I, I think. Pawn here. It's a pretty big defense. This is such a complicated game. Such a complicated game. Not takes. He didn't put me in check there. He didn't put me in check there. I can just promote. However, if he takes and promotes here and I take and he promotes here, it's really bad for me. I take and it's just added defense. I think I need to take this just so he can't put me in check on the next move. This is... So scary. Holy crap. That's really interesting. Okay. I take, he takes. Now I, I want to take, I want to bring up this pawn. He's going to get this bishop anyway, and I want my silver to stay there. Well, I've had a good move this whole time. What the heck? I've had a good move this whole time. What? Have I actually? Wait, would it have been mate? Alright, it's fine. Don't get tilted off of it. I've had a move that I didn't see. That's, that's, that's my bad. With this guy here, I could have done a lot of shenanigans.
I can't get tilted off of it, though. I think I had mate. I think I actually had mate and I didn't see it. But that's okay. Like, that's actually okay. That just happens. Wow. It's crazy. That's wild. Let's mean check here. Uh, silver here, he takes, I take. Uh, he can do knight if I do silver. If I run straight down, it seems like a terrible idea. I think I had mate. <laughs> I'll go over at the end, but I think I had something there. That's, 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 that's okay. Let's just focus up. Game's not over by any means. If I go up, yes, he can take. Does he have mate here if I take? Does he have mate? Gold, he uh, knight here. I run. He goes here. That's mate. I take. Knight here, I run. Gold here, I, I go down. And he doesn't have mate? I don't know.
No, he has mate. Gold here. No, and then I go back. Knight here. Then I go up. Promote. No, knight here can't happen. This is absurd. Yeah, so I go back. Straight back. This is so complicated. Take, take. Remote. Interesting move. Knight here. If he does knight here, it's mate. So I can't, uh, no, I take, he takes. Heck. Silver here. Silver here. Defend the front of me. If he drops knight, I just take. Take. No, he drops. No, he can't drop knight. What am I? Uh, uh. This pawn is preventing me from running. Knight there? No, I didn't see that. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. That was so good. GG's. GG's. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Holy crap. I had mate. I'll show you all the mate I had. I'll pull up chat. I'll show you all the mate I had. GG's. GG's. That's okay. I'll show you all the mate I had right here. Wait, no. He was defending with silver. Before that, then. Oh, my, maybe I didn't? Wait, hold on. Let's, let's find it. Here. Bam. Takes. Bam. Takes. Bam. I thought I had mate at some point. Did I not have mate? I'm gonna read chat now. What's going on? What's up, y'all? I'm gonna read chat. Oh, there's much better. Okay, okay. I'm gonna look at the chat variations. What's up, chat? By the way, I 100% had mates. That doesn't. That that hurts to hear. Why did I do pawn there? I have to analyze the heck out of this game. Greetings from Poland. What's up, Nadel? Thank you for the follow, man, by the way. I don't I don't wanna y'all are only make me feel worse. Don't make me feel terrible about it. No, I...
That 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 is a good variation for me right there. I thought about this. Because the only thing he can do right here is back up and then I can sack and stuff. I thought about this. I didn't play out. Bishop drop 2 3 when he takes your silver with his silver. Where was that? Oh, right here. So bishop drop 2 3 right. No, no, that's a knight. That's a knight. Where he takes my silver. When do we silver trade? Wait, what are you talking about? I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I should have done silver here or something. I don't know. I, I can't believe I didn't see that night trap. Oh, what's up, Luminaire, by the way? Like, you place your knight, then you do silver up 4-3, then he defend with his silver. Okay. So I place my knight. It was right after I placed my knight. Here? GG, bro. I must go. No problem, Nidel. Seriously, man. Thank you for the follow and thank you for being here. Yes. Okay. So, your variation. You do silver up 4-3, eating the pawn in check. Okay. Then he defends with his silver. And then... Bishop drop here. So if he takes, it's that. It's mate. Um, bishop drop here if he runs. I'm convinced you would have won in this game if you weren't streaming. That was a really good game. I see that's such a long variation and it's so scary to play out in this situation. Man, I can't believe I had that. That's super cool to look at. He runs. I know, I know. I, I, I take here first, right? I take here. He takes. Now I bishop. Runs. Wow, that's insane. That's super cool. Take, take. That's insane. That's super cool. Look how long that mate is, though. Look how long that mate is. How many moves is that? It's one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, enter disposal, thirteen. It's a thirteen move sume. Yeah, no, that's fair, Matt. Matt, thank you for finding that. That's insane that you found that. It just goes to show you how important sume is. All right, that's fine. Wow, that was a game. That was a game and a half. I lost Central Rook, which is actually pretty terrible. I lost Central Rook. My my starter Pokemon, I lost him. Holy moly. That was so intense. That was so good. It's not over yet. We still have a few more lives. You don't need to promote your pawn. Oh, okay. Well, it's not mate either way. It's not the biggest deal to me whether I find mate through a different means. Rest in peace, Pikachu. <sighs> Man, my heart is pounding. I'm not. I'm not done streaming, Necrodes. Everyone, say goodbye.
to Central Rook. Oh, you're going to bed. Okay, good night, Necrodes. My bad. Good night, Necrodes. Goodbye, Central Rook. You served us well. We get up and stretch. All right. Good and very interesting games. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not, I'm actually, like, I lost, but I'm not disappointed. That guy, I really, that was a good game. I played my heart out. I lost, but that happens. That's just a part of life. Uh, and I played well. I think I played well. The 13, I could have found Sume. Yes, we could look at what I could have done. Um, that happens. I need to practice more Sume. One minute Byoyomi is killer. How many sugar points to take your openings to the Poké Center and heal? Uh, there's no amount of sugar points that can do that, unfortunately. Wow. That was a crazy game. I'm gonna go pee real quick, run a quick ad. Uh, I'll be right back. Thank you all for st uh, sticking around during the game, and I'll be right back. Ratings go up to 9 Don. Uh, I think I've never seen a nine dawn. Uh, it looks like seven dawn is the highest on online right now. I'll be right back. Hydrate a little bit. I need to hydrate. Thank you all for the hydrates. <sighs> Let's do it. He's in another game right now, what? How is someone in another game right now? I just, they're in the waiting lobby. It's a scam. All right, the only, Nimu, unfortunately, you are not a one Don. I would love to play you, man. But I'm also trying not to play viewers. I have to play a one Don or higher right now. That is the rules. There are a lot of Blitz games going on. If I was good at Blitz, I could probably win this. There's a lot of Blitz games going on. There's a lot of Blitz games going on. It's actually kind of wild how many Blitz games are happening. I could risk it with Duck and play a Blitz game. Should I risk it with Duck? Kill duck for content. All right, let's do it. What? What do I do here?
I just do gold up, right? Wait, how do what does duck look like? Silver, gold, right? It's kind of what duck looks like. Can we have a poll? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, synchro. Synchro, your Hello. mod. Make a poll. Make a poll, synchro. How do I attack? <laughs> this is this is always my problem. Is how do I attack here? Yeah, yeah, you got this, Synchro. I believe in you. How do I play duck? This game, man. This game. This game, man. How do I play duck? What do I do? <laughs> what do I do here? I almost want to sack for silver because it seems better than my bishop right now. I can wait to do that though. I can make him lose tempo first. I almost straight up, I just want to sack that. I just want to sack. Like, how am I meant to attack here? How am I meant to attack here, like, for real? With Doc, you sack everything? Okay. Well, I was planning on doing that anyway, so that works. Yeah, he gets my pawn, but what can he do now? I kind of just want to silver trade him. Uh, if we can get his bishop to move, that'd be cool. Silver here. I mean, I, I don't know what I'm doing. What the heck is going on? Nine, eight. 
Like, what the heck is this? Two <laughs> you quacking in chat? You, you quack? I just go here, right? Two Duck is such a meme strategy. Let's get away from his attack here. I can move, uh, no. I can move up. Because if he puts pressure on my bishop, it's just a trade at that point. I'm just going to go up. This game is so weird. <laughs> like, what a silly game. My goodness. Two Two 
終了。10秒20秒1234ゴーチャンネル登録10秒20秒10秒20秒1234ゴールドチャンネル10秒10秒20秒1 2 3 10秒。10秒10秒
終了。二十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。十秒。二十秒。一、二、三。十秒。二十秒。一、二、三、四、五。十秒。二十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。I can't. I can't. I can't read this out. Two Bio Two Bio Eight. 二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。十秒。二十秒。一、二。I can't read this out. Two. 十秒。二十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六。十秒。十秒
終了。二十秒、一、二、三、四。十秒。十秒。二十秒一。二、三、四、五。十秒十秒。十秒。十秒。二十秒。十秒。十秒。二十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六。十秒。十秒。二十秒。十秒。二十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。
八九。10秒10秒レッツゴーレッツゴーレッツゴー !We did it! <笑> oh! The first! Completed Nuzlocke was won with a duck castle. Oh my gosh! No way! No way! No way! <laughs> Yes! Yes! I will mod you, Melee. I literally. <laughs> oh my gosh! We did it! <laughs> Melee, you get a mod. Synchro gets a mod. Everyone gets a mod. Congratulations! 4.5 thousand points going to Viridin. Holy crap, Viridin. You're the only one who believed in me. I actually need to see these details. It was... <laughs> Viridin, thank you, man. Holy crap. <laughs> yes. And thank you so much for the bits. Time Zombie, thank you so much for the 2,000 bits. That's actually absurd. I did it. We've completed a Shogi Nuzlocke. I'm shaking so bad. Oh my gosh. With entering King. Okay. <laughs> Y'all want to know the statistics? Five of the wins. And this Nuzlocke was, no, four of the wins were with Bogyoku, a climbing king. <laughs> that carried me all the way to five victories because Bogyoku was my second opening. So I got carried to five victories with Bogyoku. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> and then the last games were rough. Every single game in this in this Nuzlocke was so difficult, except game nine, where the, where the person didn't show up. Duck is the winner. <laughs> yes. yes, dude. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Holy crap. <sighs> nah, I'm restarting that song. That song is so good. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Dude, that game wasn't, that game was 157 moves long. That's fair, Bearden. That was a meme Shogi Nuzlocke and a half. But it proves that Duck is viable. If anyone says Duck is terrible ever again, just show them this VOD or something. Duck is viable because that game was trash. <laughs> I'm so happy. We have one marbles for the road. Let's do it. <laughs> Please make a YouTube special. Dude, that's all up to Jen. Jen's my editor, but he hasn't appeared in forever. I could edit it myself. I'm just not a very good editor. I would love to. 
Yeah, let's do some marbles. I'm so happy. I'm so absurdly happy. I can't stop smiling. My, <laughs> it's done. We did it. We completed the Shogi Nuzlocke. Holy crap. We actually did it. 10 out of 10 wins. The first time we've ever seen it. We did it. <laughs> I, I'm still in shock. <laughs> Let's do some marbles. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm so happy right now. My brain actually feels like just ecstatic. Time <laughs> Zombie Man, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Time Zombie, for the five more gifted subs. Holy crap, I can't stop smiling, and you're only helping that. <laughs> I took 59 rated points. <laughs> thank you all. Everyone say thank you. And say thank you to Time Zombie. He has been so generous this whole week. G Time Zombie, you're insane. Thank you all so much. Like, see, thank you all. Thank you all so much. Let's do some marbles. We did it! <laughs> we did it! I can't stop smiling. We did it. Time Zombie sponsored Nuzlocke for real though. Oh, uh, Synchro, thank you for making a poll, by the way. Thank you for being my impromptu mod. If you want to stay a mod, you're welcome to. If you don't, you don't have to. Just let me know. Thank you all so much. My heart is pounding so bad. I'm so happy. Ah! Oh, thank you, Time Zombie. Seriously, and thank you for everyone who's watching right now. Seriously, thank you all. Few will survive. The perfect end to the Nuzlocke. Winner gets something special. Few will survive. Exclamation point play. I haven't decided. <laughs> Well, now I fly off this marble run. <laughs> Exclamation point, play. I'll join it. I'll join it. We're done with the Nuzlocke. We're done. We're done with the Nuzlocke for a good few months at least. Holy crap. I can finally do other content again. This is crazy. I can't believe Duck did it too. My brain. <laughs> I can't. I need to practice duck now because that was kind of fun. I can't believe duck actually did it <laughs> Holy crap exclamation point play in chat if you want to join the marbles race <laughs> uh, We'll give 30 seconds 30 more seconds uh, Winner gets VIP. We'll do that I don't have many VIPs. Winner of this race gets VIP because this has been such an amazing stream and I want to remember it. How does this work? All you do is press exclamation point, oh, exclamation point play, and then you're in the race. If you, uh, it, your marbles complete RNG. If you win, you get VIP. That's how it works. It's no, you don't have to do anything. Just exclamation point play. All right, we're gonna start a 30 second countdown. Thank you for the follow. You're a cutie pie. Oh, that's a cute name. I like that. You're a cutie pie. Thank you for the follow. 30 second countdown starts now. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm still in shock. <laughs> we did it! Woo! Yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, I'm so excited for next week's stream. I have so much content like planned out. That's not a nuzlocke. I'm so happy. All right, everyone, good luck on your race. Let's do it. All right, starting off the race, we have just it's even all around. There's a giant penny, penny. What do you call it? Pen, penny turntable. What, what, the thing you drop the pennies and then it goes pew wheel wheel wheel. That is what we have today. And of course, whoever is the first one down this usually wins. Like statistically, 
first one down this hole wins it every time. Of course, there's always the problem of the rest of the course. There's a lot of obstacles on this course. I don't think that's going to be the case. Considering this course is also called Fuel Survive. Let's go, Nyrock! <laughs> I'm in third place. I'm beating all of you. Uh, Melee and Viridin up in front. Melee and Viridin, I believe, both won marbles races today. Or they got very close. No, I, I believe they both won. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Melee is cheating. I swear, Melee is steering his own marble. <laughs> Melee, I hope you die here. No, not like IRL, but your marble, I hope it flies off the edge. Oh! Melee's out. <laughs> All right, who's next? Where am I? Oh, okay, I, I took the safe route because I'm smart. Luminaire right behind me. Viridin also took the safe route. Now it all depends on this final jump. Zondra almost making it in right at the very end, trying to take the shortcut. But in the end, Viridin makes the jump. Does he make it? Viridin makes it in! I get second place! Viridin! Wait, no, I fell. Oh. Never mind, I fell. Uh, there's your channel points, everyone. Viridin makes it in! <laughs> Viridin, one try, one shot, and he makes it in the bucket. Congrats on your VIP today. You totally deserve it, man. You've been here pretty much the entire stream. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this stream today. Viridin, I'm gonna give you a VIP and then we're gonna give someone a host. Holy crap. VIP, Viridin, congrats, man. You now are special, more special than everyone else in this chat. Let's give someone a host today. Is there anyone that we should host? Anyone online that I don't know of? Let me check real quick to make sure people I'm following aren't streaming. Uh, Mino56, she's not streaming Shogi. No. Alright. Let's look it up. Go! We'll stream again. We'll host a Go streamer. Uh, we'll host the OGS. Oh wait, DDK lesson. He's giving lessons in casual games. We'll host him. We'll host him. Everyone, say hi to Daniel for me. If he's a great streamer, give him a follow. If he's bad, don't tell him he's bad. <laughs> but just everyone have an amazing day. I am giving him a host, and I'm gonna sleep happy tonight. Daniel M L zero zero one. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye. I'll miss you all. Thank you for all the follows and all the crazy support you've given me. Have an amazing stream, everyone. I love you all, and have a great night. Goodbye. <laughs>